And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Senators start with possession as we are now underway. Strong defensive effort. Lays into the body on the play. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. And now he moves it to Kachuk. Rips it. Oh, what a hit. He sacrificed his body to make the play. Now looking for signs in a game what the game plan might be. And an early hit tells us it's going to be a physical one. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. Over the line they come. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Petrie. Here's a chance right out in front, and that's broken up. And he can't hang on after that hit. Quick feed to Sherratt. Tries to get it to Lekanen. Quick pass to Lekanen. Big time stop there. Slides the puck down low. Here's a shot. What an opportunity. He puts it high. Looking to pop the water bottle off the top of the net. He shoots it too much over the top. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. The officials making the call. You know, you had, what, over 400 goals? Different kind of stick work here. A little different. I, I would say this is probably the penalty I took as much as any. Really? Yeah, you get a little bit behind and... Or you get a little bit frustrated and the slash is the one. Or is that the Ferraro temper? No, it's... Yes. <laughs> Moves it to Lekanen. Hammers it on net. Makes the save on the slapper. Moves the puck. And the pump check. Oh, smart play. And manages to clear the zone. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. Slides the puck over. Takes the feed. Puts it high. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Oh, great play to use the wall handling the pass. Stick save for the goalie. Great reflexes. Another save. He's not going to face many more high danger chances than that, but he snares that attempt. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Drouet. Puck grabbed by Gallagher. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here's a short pass to Hainsey. Here comes the official's call. Deneau's been nabbed for tripping. Soon as the hands go up when they start to plead with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. Ottawa's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. It's their first power play of the game. What a great chance to break this scoreless tie. Start with a face-off win. Get the puck to the point. Start moving it around before you attack the net. Have a clear plan. He scores! A short-handed marker! I don't think the penalty killers ever really look for a shorty, but if the opportunity's there, now they're more aggressive than they've ever been. It's a bad decision by the other team as they get caught in an odd man rush but they don't make any mistake. This is a beauty. Montreal's hard work in this opening period pays off. Well, great when the anthem finished. These guys were on it. They've done a really terrific job and are well rewarded for that first goal. And now it's grabbed by Paul. Moves it quickly over to Duclair. Gets a piece of him with the trapper. The Canadians scoop it up along the boards. Everything looks so easy for Carey Price. Smooth, efficient movement. There he makes an excellent stop. Handles the puck. And that one's turned away. Sets up from Gretzky's office. Big stop by the keeper. Mente's got the puck in his own zone. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Picking up some steam at center ice. Paul's going to play it against the half wall. 
That's probably not what they were planning on the power play. They serve up a shorthanded goal with the special teams unit, but now both teams back to even strength. They're not going to be too thrilled when they get a look at the film on that power play. Ineffective and, maybe more importantly, they give up the shorthanded goal. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. Last thing is the call here, Ray. Now, I had a few of these when I played, no. James. And, no, really, I did. And so you're slashing for two reasons. One, because you're frustrated, or two, because you don't like the guy and you're trying to put a little bit of a hurt on him. Spoken from a man with first-hand perspective, right? And there. you go to the box for both of them. <laughs> Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick feed to Gallagher. Looks to set up at the point now. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Strong use of the body. Shot gets a piece of it with the blocker. Gets it out of his own end. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. Feeds it on over to Drouin. Puts it on net. Oh, so close. Close enough that that's just a couple inches away from being a goal. Blocked in traffic. Receives the pass. Pokes it away in his own end. Both sides back to even strength. A great effort by the penalty killers there. Well, no go on that power play. They were able to move the puck around, and I guess at times it looked dangerous, but just nothing really going on the power play. They let that one slip through their fingers. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Quick pass to Anderson. Stopped by the goaltender. Ryan's taking it from his own end. Way too much congestion blocks that. Montreal's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Let's it go. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Now that's got to hurt. I don't care how much equipment you have or how good the mask is. That thing's coming 80-plus miles an hour. That's got to hurt. Another power play opportunity coming up here. This is a pretty simplistic power play. They like to get the puck, shoot it, crash the net, get it back, and shoot it again. What a great time to have a man advantage as they trail by one. For point blank, turns it away. Save made by the goalie. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Deflected Whoa. away, nice defensive use of the stick there. Good check, frees the puck up. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. He scores! Another shorthanded marker. You don't see that often. No, they're not a very passive group killing penalties, are they? That's a couple of times where they've just taken advantage of a mistake and raced up the ice. This is a perfectly timed shot. As soon as the goalie drops into the butterfly, this puck is delivered right over his catching glove into the top of the net. Boasting a comfortable 2-0 lead. Ray, what are you seeing down at ice level? Domination, James. They've got the puck the whole time. Eventually, you're going to crack the other goalie, and they have a second time. And now he tries to get it across to Shabbat. Comes up with a stop. And now he angles it across to Byron. To his teammate! And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Power play expires, and they got to be left shaking their heads as they fail to convert and serve up a shorthanded goal. Really aggressive work by the penalty killers. They get the shorthanded goal, and the minor penalty has been killed off as well. Well, there's the horn concluding the first 20 minutes. Time to get a clean sheet of ice. Well, that's how you start a game. 20 minutes in the books, and it's already 2-0. 40 minutes of regulation still to play. We're looking forward to it. Hopefully you are too. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Montreal's aggression in that first period was really impressive. 
They had the puck a lot. They were able to produce a two-goal lead. Now they want to keep pushing it forward. Picked up along the wall by Petrie. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. The Canadians gain possession along the wall. And now it's over to Drouin. They've got numbers. Throws it on goal. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. Deneau's able to get everything behind this hit. He really lays one on here. Lots of time left in this period, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. An easy save by Anderson. Montreal's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason of that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Puck has dropped, and we are back underway. Ottawa's got it against the boards. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Ottawa's got the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Shabbat. Here's a chance. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. Taken by Hainsey. Takes the pass. Ottawa's in now. Back on a stick now. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. And he slides it quickly to Zaitsev. Sends the pass over. Here's an odd man rush. Oh, just inches wide. Doesn't miss it by much, James. That's a really good shot, but he got to get it on the net. Centering pass in front. There's the collision. Kulak's moving the puck through his own zone. That's sent in deep. Slides the puck across to Tierney. Moves it to Riley. And he slides it quickly to Paul. Comes up with a steal. And he gets the puck right back. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. They're calling slashing on the play, Ray. Penalty of frustration in a lot of cases. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. The power play can be so frustrating when you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well. You start to press pretty quickly into it. Now's the time to relax, readjust, and attack again. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. Takes it across the blue line. Oh, what a stop! Scores! Putting the power in power play. They just about everything right on that man advantage. They capitalize. Once the goalie leaves the puck in front of the net, the goalie's at your mercy, and he does not miss. Montreal's back at center. What a performance to this point. They've moved the puck so well that they've had the puck the whole night. Their opponents are chasing it around like a carrot on a stick. Regains possession at center. Puck set across the blue line. They fight for it along the boards. Nice poke check. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Drouet's got it across the line. Misses just up and over. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And it's a quick pass to Kachuk. Into the offensive end now. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. The Senators gain control of the puck against the wall. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Directs it on over to Bobievsky. Taken along the wall by Yaros. Takes the pass from the left wing. With the blast! Oh, just wide. Didn't miss that by much. He got lots on it. Ottawa's got the puck along the wall. Oh, he'll feel that one. Rocked him! They've got the defense outnumbered. Just wide! 
They say it's a game of inches. James, if that puck is a couple of inches to the side, that hits the post and goes in. Now a quick pass to Ryan. Turns the puck over. Great read defensively there. Takes the return feed. Puck scooped up by Anisimov. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here they are on the attack. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Picked up along the boards by Anisimov. And he loses control of the puck. The Canadians have it against the wall. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Blistering shot! That's blocked! Ottawa's got the puck in their own end. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Riley's got it along the wing. Great defensive effort with the strip. Evans gains the zone. Let's it go from the slot. That seals over the net. He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. And there's the wrap-up cue for period number two. Three-nothing is where things stand after two periods. Fans, don't forget to get the seat you want, the game you want, by purchasing one of our six-game ticket packets. Big third period still to come. We'll get ready for it. Hope you'll join us. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action, ready to go. Here we go. Third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Montreal's focus now is just lock down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Montreal's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Along the half wall with the puck. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Off target! Right in the slot! Knocked away. Tries to feed it over to Kachuk. Kachuk's got it in the offensive zone. A chance from the slot. No room for that one to get through. Dumps it into the other end. Ottawa's gained possession along the boards. Montreal's got possession here in the neutral zone. Hard blast. Misses wide. Yeah, he's going to have to adjust the sights on that one. I think off target by a long way. Montreal showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Battling for it along the boards. Big play inside the defensive zone. The Canadians ready to go on the attack. Denies him! After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. With the bank pass. Scores! No chance for the puck stopper on that one! He didn't waste any time. If he would have stopped that puck, the goalie would have had time to readjust. As it is, it's in the net. Montreal's lamp lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Lekkonen's lugging the puck. Ottawa's got it now. And he comes up with a big time save on that. Sherratt's got the puck behind the net. Makes his presence known on the ice. On the attack along the boards. Nice pass. And there's the save. That is sweeping up the trash there. Good save. Off to the corner. Everybody can readjust. 
From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Trying to shake loose. Scores! He had to be ready for this puck to get up on his stick. He doesn't take any time at all. The goalie's not set. It's in the net. Once you get free of everybody else chasing you, the only decision is what you're going to do with the goaltender. You look at him, you read where he is. He decided to go backhand deke, and he doesn't miss. And it looks like the hockey equivalent of going to the bullpen is happening here as they're going to change goaltenders. You ever wonder in a blowout why the goalie leaving skates way faster than the guy coming in? Montreal's goal scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forechecked. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Mente stick handling in his own zone. They've got numbers. The Senators grab possession for the puck. Slides the puck to Yeros. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Sin bin bound for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Hey, another power play for them. They've been successful tonight. I don't think they changed the script much here. Oh, comes up with a stop. Grabbed along the board by Tatar. He got all of that hit on the play. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. He scores! Even under men, they deliver. That's yeah, a slump play by the power play. But shorthanded, they get aggressive, they get up the ice, and are able to score while down a man. Really quick puck movement always helps when you've got the extra man. The defenders just don't catch up to it, and it ends up in the net. Ottawa's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scores out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. Puck picked up by Riley. There's the physical side. 12 minutes, 28 seconds. Sends it over. Lets it fly with the stop. Loose puck battle along the boards. Centering pass. And that shot dies in traffic. Takes it from the right side. Slides the puck to Deneau. Here's a short pass to Drouin. Takes the pass in the corner. It doesn't really matter that the power play didn't score. They've got such a nice lead. But I'll tell you, as a guy that made a living on the power play, I wanted to score every time I was out there. Deneau's got it in the defensive end. Puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Puck grabbed by Yaros. Tosses it on to Riley. Scooped up along the wall by Kachuk. Eagle eyes by the referees. Delayed penalty coming up here. Looks like they caught the slash. And let's see what the call is. You call that a hatchet job with that slash? I call that chopping broccoli right there. <laughs> Very good reference. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Shorthanded goals are really a gut punch when you give one up. You can always look at the clock and say, hey, here's the score. We got a power play. And all of a sudden, you make a bobble, a misplay, and it's in your net. Another chance here, though, for them. And now he moves it quickly to Shabbat. Moves it around along the half wall. Handles the puck at the point. Scrum along the boards. And he slides it quickly to White. Wrist shot from the slot and puts it right over the crossbar. The Senators can only shake their collective head. That's another chance, and they don't get anything for it. Takes the feet at the back end. Steps into it. Shuts him down. Doesn't look like much, but the defensemen are helped out by this puck being in the corner. 
The Senators' power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. Well, the only thing that happened on that power play was the clock rolled along. Very few chances, not much danger. Feeds the puck to Kotkaniemi. Here's a chance. And he puts that one aside with ease. Montreal's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and laid it big time late in this third period. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And he comes up with it. And he slides it quickly to Kachuk. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space at center. And before the clock can be completely run out, we get an offside on the play. Wow, did the ice get small for him. There's nowhere to go and he had to absorb this huge hit. The Canadians are gonna to wanna to bring this big lead home late in the third. Kakaniemi's won the draw here in the open ice. Here's a blast! That goes wide! Grabs the puck. A little rock of sock him on the play. Picked up along the wall by Boddicker. Can't get a hold of that pass. And now it's grabbed by Lekanen. Moves it quickly over to Kotkaniemi. Air mails it. Did he ever? He's got to bring that down a couple of feet. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. Takes the feed. Grips it, rips it, and that's wide of the net. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. Ray, more shots, more offense, and they convert it. The dominated the game start to finish. You got a feel for the losing goaltender. He had to feel like he was at the end of a firing squad there. And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us.